Well, hello there, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Afghanistan 11. We are, of course, going to continue trying to turn this province uh, into a place that can actually respect the rule of the U.S., uh, and it's going to be tough. This is Helmand province. This is one of the deadliest provinces in the entire country. But if we keep doing what we were doing last episode, maybe we have a chance of actually turning this around. So, of course, I'm going to, first of all, immediately go and take a look. And as you can see, the uh, village was cooperative enough to tell us where the mines are that the militia or the Taliban place. One really cool thing about this game, and I don't think I mentioned this um, in my last with my last two Let's Plays of the game. And that is that in um, Afghanistan 11, uh, most of the Taliban fighters come from the east. So we've actually got a drone over here close to the east. We're basically trying to find the enemy. But most of the Taliban, I'm not talking about the militia, come from the east. And this is because the east borders Pakistan. And as you guys can probably imagine, a lot of the Taliban fighters come from, yes, Pakistan. A uh, really interesting fact, I think, and uh, definitely adds to the scope and depth of the game. It's, it's an interesting thing. Now, one thing we're going to do right away is I am going to go ahead and drop some emergency supplies here to our wonderful, wonderful Husky so that we can keep looking for IEDs. As you can see, the Husky has been damaged, but that doesn't mean he can't continue out his uh, job of detecting uh, improvised explosive devices that the enemy may have laid. There we go. Look at that. We're also gaining a lot of love with the people for destroying all of those IEDs. Nonetheless, we still have to continue through this area, through this uh, the wadi, uh, and find more enemy units. Fortunately, this truck or this uh, this MRAP is not moving at all, so we're going to move forward with our men. And next turn, I'm hoping we can bring uh, supplies to assist that MRAP. Uh, obviously, right now, it's not in the cards. Now, let's take a look here at Alpha Squadron, the Buffalo. Uh, we could obviously add additions here to this base if we wanted. Um, we could add all sorts of things. Now, what I think I'm going to do with this Buffalo, as a matter of fact, is I'm going to go ahead and I am going to try to build a water tower right at this village, as you can see. We're going to try to keep helping the people. Um, why didn't that work? That's a little weird. Let me try again. Copy solid. I think we need to wait a turn. Oscar, Mike. Yeah, that could be the issue. Um, so we will build a water tower over there with that buffalo so that we can get the people on our side. Another thing we need to do is we need to get another MRAP. Uh, and if not an MRAP, maybe <clears throat> a supply truck will be su sufficient. I don't usually like to use supply trucks to pick up the men. Uh, but in this case, we, we'll go ahead and do it uh, just this once. We could have purchased an MRAP, uh, but we're going to go ahead and get that supply Oscar, truck. Mike. As you can see over here, the road has been destroyed by the massive amount of IEDs. So we want to go ahead and connect the road again. This is really going to help us out big time. And we should also go ahead and probably build a road uh, connecting this village to our overall um, base. I think that's going to be very, very helpful. So let's move around, make sure that we've moved all of our units. This Blackhawk actually has a unit in it. Unfortunately, he is not doing well. Um, and we did find, I believe, another poppy field in the last, let's play. yep, it's right there. It would be great to go ahead and get there on time, but I think all we're going to do is bring the Blackhawk back to base, drop him off, and uh, hope for the best. Also, don't forget that the Afghan elections are going on right now. We really need the, those Afghan elections to go in our favor. So um, we're hoping that our candidate will win. We haven't spent any political points to support him, so we're really leaving it up to the people of Afghanistan to tell us essentially what they want. So let's end the turn. Confirm. ANA unit deployed. Okay, ANA unit deployed. So our special forces have managed to train an ANA howitzer. The reason this is such a great unit is because he can actually fire in all this area here, as you can see. Uh, really useful. And I'm going to have um, our wonderful uh, Foxtrot company go ahead and train uh, an ASV here, which will allow us to carry around more troops. Uh, as for reinforcements, I wouldn't mind getting another group of U.S. infantry. So we're going to go ahead and get India Company here. We're also going to get another MRAP. Um, I don't know why we have two MRAPs here. That could be an issue. Um, by the way, some of you guys asked to have yourselves named after squads. Um, I don't believe that once they're out, they can be named. So I should have written this down. I apologize for that. In fact, let me take a look here. Delta Squadron. Yeah, we can rename. Um, so I'm actually going to take a quick look here. I don't want to interrupt um, the game, but I'm going to see if I can quickly, really quickly, uh, find some of the people that wanted to be named. Um, of course, I'm probably okay, guys. So we renamed some units now. The so the one I did person. rename here, History Kid. I've renamed the Special Forces, Super Special Forces, as someone requested. I am going to take a look at the second video. I only look at the first for the names, and we also got the fourth C A C R. Uh, PRT because one of the users here was actually in the Czech military, which is pretty awesome. And hey, man, 
great job. Um, you know, I'm sure you, you probably saw a lot of, uh, or you certainly trained and had some amazing experiences. And unfortunately, our buffalo did hit a mine. Thankfully, it did damage our um, overall hearts and minds, but it didn't actually destroy the vehicle. Now, the vehicle is in trouble. And obviously, a buffalo can't really repair itself, so we're probably going to need to go ahead and, yep, you guessed it, buy another buffalo for 1000 um, that's expensive, but you know what? Um, I think it's worth it. I'd love to get another husky out here too, so I think I might invest in a husky, but we're going to give it some time. We're going to wait just a little bit before we do, and we're also going to build a road to connect that um, village to our men. And in fact, I'm thinking this MRAP, uh, this was kind of a blessing in disguise because the husky cleared the way for the MRAP, and he's going to get to that village a lot sooner than he would otherwise. Um, obviously, you can see that while we're in the uh, forward operating base, one thing that's really cool is that this uh, the helicopter will regain uh, one fuel every turn in the forward operating base. So we do have that poppy field there, and I'm thinking we could go ahead and take her out. Now, this is one way to really stir up a hornet's nest and pick up, piss off some Taliban, but it's also a way to piss off the civilians in the area. I mean, after all, you know, they use these uh, opium crops not, not for, to, for drug use, but they use these opium crops to basically feed their families, and uh, destroying them, it's going to cause some, some anger for sure. So I'm going to go ahead and move uh, the Blackhawk squadron out here might run out of movement points before we get him there. I'm hoping that's not the case. I'm going to try to drop our boys. Ooh, we might not be able to drop him here. Copy solid. All right, there we go. Yeah, we're going to have to drop him a little ways away from the opium uh, poppy, and we will get there, but it's going to be, it's going to take some moving around, obviously. So let's hope that that occurs. I'm also going to see uh, if we can get some Emergency much needed emergency deployed. supplies to this vehicle beautiful we pick up our boys and head to that village um, to make sure that the people know that we care about them and that we want to improve their country obviously building roads also is one great way to get improve relations with the people um, holy shit the Taliban are right there they've opened fire on our vehicle and we actually managed to kill them unbelievable we actually managed to fight back and beat them and now we know that they've set up some IEDs over here. I'm really happy that um, that MRAP <laughs> managed to do its job. But of course, if this MRAP hits a single mine, we risk losing all of our men in that vehicle, um, as well as the MRAP itself. So let's get the Husky to keep looking for mines. Obviously, we want to go through all throughout this area. Uh, and each mine we take out substantially helps our relations with the people. Um, so far, there's been a lot of mines in this Let's Play, a lot of IEDs. And that's not a good thing. Let's go ahead and build that water tower like we planned. 1750. It's expensive, but it's going to pay itself off over time, I believe. Um, and as for the road, unfortunately, to build the road, we have to be back at our road. So we're going to be sending this buffalo back to this road, and then we're going to lead it to the village uh, to make sure that the people uh, can see that we're trying to help them. So here we go. We do have this supply truck, um, and it's filled with infantry. But, you know, it's very, very da very dangerous to send them out here, uh, especially since we could hit another mine, what have you. Um, I'm going to do it this once, but it's a really huge risk I'm taking, and uh, the supply truck has no defenses against an IED blast. So let's go ahead and turn. Confirm. There we go. Another day, another dollar, or another opium crop, depending on how you look at it. Um, so let's go ahead and burn up that opium crop. I'm sorry, guys. It's not my choice. Well, it kind of is, but we're going to take them. Oh, there we go. I'm going to say it's going to take them another turn, but nope, they got it. So that's 1,000 political points for us. Now we're going to pick these guys up. And remember, this chopper has to get back with fuel remaining. We're not going to have fuel remaining, so I'm hoping it's not going to crash. I think we still have one turn after this, even with one fuel remaining, uh, to still maneuver. I hope that's the case, or else we're in some trouble. And I'm trying, I'm starting to think that we might send this unit, um over here um, to the eastern provinces near Pakistan, to the eastern mountains near Pakistan to fight the Taliban. But at the same time, we've seen a lot of enemy activity in this region, and this is where most of our villages are. So I'm going to stay in this region for now and try and spot some enemy units. Obviously, right now, the drone can spot them. Um, so we're not exactly in the best position with our special forces. We could be in a position where we could help a lot more. But let's go ahead. I'm going to drop these boys off at this village. They're pro-American, and it seems that they are showing us the location of an IED. I really appreciate that, but of course, these guys are definitely in need of rations, so we're going to drop them off. Come on, C-130. Alright. Let's 
see. We still need to get a vehicle over there, of course. And I think I'll actually bring the Husky back. Um, then again, no, we're trying to get into this area, so we'll keep moving the Husky forward, but we're taking a major risk with, uh, there we go, nice. Um, oh, you actually got an achievement, very cool. Um, a medal, actually. Um, we're taking a very big risk with this vehicle, of course, uh, partly because, you know, it's already been damaged once. Yes, MRAPs can survive IED blasts. I think they have a 50% chance of surviving, but do we really want to take that risk? I don't think we do. I think... Each time we take a risk like that, we're jeopardizing the lives of our men. And, you know, one of the biggest things I want to do in this Let's Play is try and make sure that our men survive. Uh, that's a big, big thing for me in this game. So let's get the MRAP. He's going to continue forward because he's going to go to this village uh, and try to help the people there. As you can see, we could definitely hit an ID. Yep, I called it. Knew it. 250 political points lost. Um, not good, and it's of course going to affect our hearts and minds score. I'm going to construct a road leading to this village, hoping that the people are going to really enjoy that and basically support us for doing that. In the meantime, I'm glad I didn't send the supply truck out there. I'm going to send the supply truck to drop the men off in this village. So let's go ahead and do that, and I think these men are going to have to walk back home because I don't trust them being in that supply truck. And look at that. IEDs, we're of course going to head out. And we are going to sweep for those IEDs. Thankfully, we destroyed them. And they we're actually placed in a pretty terrible location. It's unlikely that we would have ever been in that area. But hey, what can I say? The Taliban aren't always the smartest folk in the world. Okay, pretty neat, pretty neat. Uh, and we also need to go fix this vehicle, so... Let me do that. 250 to fix the vehicle. And this vehicle needs to be fixed too, so hold on a second. Also, this road is no longer connected, so I'm going to connect the road, number one. I want this road to be totally connected. This area is also not connected, but right now I'm going to fix this buffalo. Repairs commenced. Beautiful, with Kilo Squadron. Copy solid. And this one reports the 4th CACR um, PRT, and from here we can probably build a road connecting this village, uh, obviously, to our own road system, and this is really going to help them improve their economy, probably make them much happier than they were before. So there we go. Uh, I think we've constructed the road all the way there. Maybe we need one more time. There we go. Now, at this point, it's got to be connected. Um, absolutely has to be connected, and I think it is. Um, so let's take a look over here. So that's where we're headed next, that village. I hope that it's cooperative, and I hope that they are just as interested in improving their economy as we are. We're really trying to help them out here, but let's end the turn and hope for the best. Be advised, Taliban in the air. Oh, the Taliban just attacked, guys. They attacked our base. We had no way of fighting down, and corruption ca down. Coalition candidate wins the election with 53% of the vote, vote. He just barely won, and this is, of course, the election candidate we wanted to win. So PP on enemy kills up 75, PP up 300 per turn, cooldown period up one turn. That's not great, and intel for village is down 10%. So he definitely wants to keep things secret, and that's not good. But at the same time, um, the people that... Um, the people, the, the Taliban that are fighting us uh, don't seem to be very big fans of him, and he doesn't seem to be very, very, very big fans of them either. And there we go, enemy attacking our husky, and unfortunately, they succeeded in destroying our wonderful little husky. And I'm going to go ahead and build that road over there. I could also repair the base, I believe. I might be wrong on this. Repair a vehicle or structure. We might have to wait one turn for that repair to begin, but at least we know it's a possibility. And let's get this chopper back home. Roger. Our hearts and minds is at 47. Remember, we need to get it up above 55. So far, that doesn't look like it's happening, at least not in the near future. Let's drop our boys off in here. Roger. Hopefully no IEDs. No new intel. No new intel. We're going to go ahead and sweep for mines. For IEDs. And we didn't find anything, but at least we know that there's nothing here that we need to concern ourselves with. At least that's what the people are telling us. They could be lying. Um, and I'm going to pick up these guys. I knew I said I wouldn't use the supply truck to move them, but I just broke my promise. Um, so we're going to move the supply truck back. Hopefully the enemy hasn't managed to get any units back here. Um, and let's actually grab this MRAP. I'm going to pick up some U.S. infantry. Copy that. And we're going to drop them off in this village right here. They're asking for our help. But just look at how badly this place has been blown up. And wow, look at that. So there's definitely an IED nearby. We 
got to keep our wits about us because that thing could cause major problems. And I think it's time to probably go ahead and invest in another Husky uh, since we lost the last one. Honestly, I wish we didn't have to, but the fact is we need to. And I love the Husky. It's a beautiful vehicle, um, and especially for what it does, it's truly a vehicle of peace. I mean, all it does is basically clear the area from IED. So I'm going to go ahead and move forward. And this village, beautiful. We got one. Um, but this village right here is actually pro-Taliban. You can see the white flag. That's a very bad sign. Um, that means this village is supporting the Taliban openly. And uh, that is a very bad thing for us. They're essentially in control of this area. Let's move the special forces team up here. Maybe one more tile. And, of course, we're going to bring in some supplies for them. Emergency supplies deployed. I'm not sure why these guys are moving. There we go. I'm going to try to drop our boys off in this village. Roger. Careful for IEDs. Village uncooperative. Got very lucky. And this village, of course, is turning towards the militias. We're going to try to sweep their minds. for IEDs. Doing everything we can to improve hearts and minds here, but... It's not working out as well as we wanted it to, unfortunately. Uh, and we do have a village over there as well, but we don't have really any units. Oh, there we go. U.S. Infantry. Beautiful. Unfortunately, they just landed. The helicopter has no fuel, and I don't think they're in any position um, to really put up a fight. Um, so we're going to wait a little bit. We're also going to wait for our Husky and our um, Buffalo to get over here to repair that road and clear the area of IED. So let's end the turn here. Make sure that we don't have any units we haven't moved. Well, this one's going to need a refueling very soon. Uh, so, well, we could also build a water tower here. Let's do that. Affirmative. Nice. We're really risking it. We're getting very close. Um, running out of points, obviously. Not a great situation. The supply uh, truck is going to head back, but I'd like to get another supply truck out here. Uh, to maybe deliver some UN aid to some of these villages. Also, we'll probably get a supply truck to deliver fuel to these vehicles. Right now, though, I'm going to focus on UN aid. I really think we need to do everything we can to help the people here. So let's go ahead and drop off some UN aid at this Copy village. Solid. Hopefully no IEDs. Terrorists don't care if they're destroying a UN vehicle. But there we go. We actually moved the Hearts and Minds score up to 48. So we've got to do some more of that. Let's actually get another supply truck. They're not very expensive. And uh, we will confirm the supply truck. And with the supply truck, I'm also going to pick up UNA. And even though this village is not cooperative with us, we don't care. We're going to help them anyway. Hopefully there aren't any IEDs here. It wouldn't really be good PR for the Taliban, I don't think. But it would certainly scare the villagers into compliance. Let's pick up our boys. Copy that. Copy that. You better damn right copy that. And we shall, of course, end our turn very soon here. Okay, guys, we're ending the turn. Okay, unfortunately, this does happen, guys. Um, needs to restart, and, uh, you know, obviously this is a review copy, so, um, you know, this is kind of the issues that do occur. Um, we're going to, of course, send this into the team, and hopefully they can figure out what's going on. Um, but thank you so much for watching up to now. We might have to come back with a full release game before we manage to actually play out through, throughout the entire mission, but we'll see what we can do. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care, and have an awesome, awesome day.